done. I just drew the fourth gypsy. Cheatin'! Yeah, that's how I do it. Oh wait, she's not done. She's not done. Er, er. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Tragedy! Alright, uh... Something bad happened. While I was recording, drawing these two characters, uh, something went wrong with the computer. I think Windows hiccuped or something and screwed up my video recorder on my computer, on my tablet. And therefore, it didn't record any of me drawing these two characters. So, I got three more panels. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Uh, Alright, let's move on to the second panel. So, something that I explained in the last, in the video that you never saw, that I would hope, oh, please don't screw it up, please. When I draw comic strips, I don't draw them inside the panel. I draw them in another file as independent elements. Uh, what that means is, well, I'll show you. Okay, these guys are already done. These two, Gypsy and Jack, are already finished. I'm going to move on to the next panel here. Bing. Uh, let's draw Gypsy. Alright, so I already had this other file set up. You can see that's that's Jack. Whoops. And that's Gypsy. Um, they're in their own folders and they're indiv ind independent elements. They're their own drawings. And what I did, well, you'll see. I'm going to create a new folder called Gypsy 2. Paste her in there. Her pencils in there. And make her bigger. And now I'm going to create an ink layer. Uh, my ink layers I do as vector, which means it's kind of procedural. It's not a bitmap. It's not, it's not pixels. It's actually math. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I were to, say, draw her hair, I got two lines of hair. Oh, what if I didn't like where that one was? Oh, I can move it. Check that out. I can scale it up. I can take a point. Screw around with it. I can I can keep I can keep adjusting it, which is something that I like. But I only do that for the inks. I don't do this for the colors or for the shading. I just do it for the ink. Anyway, so let's undo. Oops, I went too far. Redo. I'm gonna go do the eyes first. Uh, I give her little eyelashes like that so that it, you can tell she's a girl. Without those eyelashes, you probably would think it was a dude. Alright, so she is inked. Next, I make a layer called Colors. And I have this palette that I have. I've been using this for years. It's the same, same file. And it just has all the colors of all the different characters. Right here, that's Gypsy's main body color. Um, I like to do as little work as possible. Not because I'm lazy. I just don't have much time to actually work on these things. So I gotta do this fast. I don't want to do the details twice, if I can help it. I should probably mention, some people do a seat fill when they fill in their comics, their cartoons. I can't do that because none of my lines can connect. I don't know how people draw with their lines all connected so they can do a seat fill and it just fills in and doesn't bleed out some hole. My drawings are completely full of holes and if I would to seat fill, it'd just fill the entire, the entire image. So what I do is I draw it in. And to make things quicker, first I'll use a big brush to get the big areas. But also, like you can see, I'm drawing um, right over her eyes. I'm not drawing around her eyes, because that would be doing detail that I don't need to do. Because then I'd be doing the detail twice. I'd be doing it once for her skin, and then drawing the detail again for her eye eyeballs. So I'm just doing it really, really, I'm doing this coloring really rough. I'm, I'm 
drawing, oops, I'm drawing over uh, her, some of her details like her eyes and her teeth and I'm doing the big stuff right now as you can see I'm leaving a lot of smaller areas alone so now I just move down to a smaller brush and get the medium sized things Now you're saying, what's the big deal about the eyes? I'm sure you're saying this. All right, let me go to the whites. We'll do her eyes now. Get a bigger brush. Probably could have done a bigger brush than that, but whatever. And maybe go to my colors and grab my tongue color. And add a little bit of a tongue in there. Now, I'm going to take a quick break just to make sure that the camera is rolling. That was, just, I couldn't believe it. It does this thing where it, it says it's saving the file. Like you say, okay, stop the recording and now save the file and it goes forever. And it never stops. And I know something's wrong when that happened. Windows did something funny. Windows said, hey, would you like to update? No, I didn't want to update. So I closed that out and at some point the thing just went right in the middle of the recording and it just screwed up my recording. So I lost all, I, I, I have a video of it. I have a video of me talking about it on the video. I don't have the video of me drawing it. Oh man, I forgot some stuff. All right, she's got pencils, she's got ink, she's got color. What's next? Shady. Shady. So I'm gonna create two new layers, one called lights and one called darks. And I'm going to grab, put a layer, a selection around basically her body color. I'm trying to make sure that I'm only drawing or painting inside this like kind of gray, light gray color. That's the only place I want to draw. So like for example, if I take the brush and go Whoa! Look, it's only, it's only drawing in, inside that area that is her light color. It's like a mask. It's kind of like I'm masking off everything but the thing that I want to paint on. So I got lights. I'm going to take a white color. Maybe it's a little bit too small. I'm going to get some, I'm going to get some highlights in there. Just quickly do it, nice and rough. Okay, so I'm going to the darks layer. And Gypsy has a kind of a, a gradient. She has a kind of a gradient on her on her abdomen, and it basically looks like this. Now you notice I drew on her arm. Well, no big deal. I just erase that. All right. So still in the same uh, layer. I'm going to put in some little shadows. screw up my recording because that really pissed me off. Uh, I think I'm done. All right, so I'm going to undo this selection and I'm going to select her wings, which are a kind of dark color. And also, <laughs> I can hear Luna upstairs. Um, also some shadows because, you know, Got shadows. All right, the only thing left is her eyes and teeth. So I select the white colors that are her eyes, go to the darks layer, just do that to her eyes. Uh, looks like I got her teeth, but I can erase that. And now I'm going to go back to the airbrush, do that to the corner, and get rid of the pencil lines, and boom! Uh, that's Gypsy. Bing! I guess I should do bing! 
All right, but there is a little glitch. There's this little tiny spot right here where I didn't color quite right. So there's this tool I use called fingertip. And I fill that in. Looks like the darks need to move to, and it just smudges things over. It's like taking your finger and smudging things. That's what I use. All right, so I'm gonna save this. Now I'm gonna flatten these layers. And I'm gonna copy that flattened one single layer, and I'm gonna undo to get my layers back. Save again, just to be sure. And go back to the uh, comic strip, and this is where it gets interesting. I'm gonna put paste her in. Now you notice, whoa, she's really freaking big. That's because I drew her really big. If I grab this tool, I can move her over and scale her down to fit the pencils. So that's Gypsy. Now I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to hide that pencil layer. Um, and I'm going to save this. <clears throat> oh, my legs. Weird chair. Uh, I mentioned in the last video that I, I'm using this chair because I thought it'd be good for a green screen. It hurts my shins. drawing. Uh, let's draw Jack. So something kind of important, um, mildly important. With Gypsy, because I use blue as her pencil color, blue doesn't obscure the ink quite as much, but this brown will. So it'll be harder to see my ink lines. So what I do is I kind of make it a little more transparent so that the ink, the black lines in the ink will show up better. Ah, what the heck was that? Heat that thing. So, his inks are done. And I'm going to create his color layer. And I'm going to go to the color palette and pick his brown. It is Jack the Spider Brown. Alright, now again, uh, as you can see in the face, I just drew right over his, his eyes and his mouth. And I didn't care. That's because I don't want to do the details twice. So now I'm going to do the details once. Now he has color. Okay, so... He has pencils, he has inks, he has color. What's left? Shaving. There you have it. That's Jack. So now I'm going to uh, flatten out these layers, copy that flattened layer. I'm going to undo the flattening and I'm going to go over to the comic strip and paste him into it. And there you go. That's Jack. I'm going to get rid of those pencil lines and. <laughs> We got, we got a whole second panel drawn, right before your eyes, a second panel. All right, let's move on to the next panel. Uh, this, the next two panels are going to be interesting because I'm going to be doing a lot of cheating. What I mean by that is I'm going to reuse artwork, and this saves me time. I have a full-time job, I have a family, 
I have to find time to do this stuff. I have to squeeze the comic strip into my already busy day. But if I can cut corners by reusing artwork, I'm going to cut corners by reusing artwork. Uh, let's draw the next Gypsy. As you can see already, Gypsy in these two panels is almost identical. So we're going to do Gypsy right now. Let's pause for a second to talk about the Wacom tablet, specifically the new one, but in general. Um, these little things are so awesome because I can draw anywhere. I don't have to be sitting at a, at a desk at home in order to do it. I can take this, I can draw on my lunch break, I can park somewhere and draw. I can sit anywhere in my house and draw this. Right now, I'm sitting in front of a green screen and drawing this. You know, these things are great. But what really makes them great are these things on the side here. There's an undo right there. I can't draw without that undo button. Like, I have to have that right there to go pop, 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 and, and, and undo on, a, on an instant's notice. I like it. It's, it's good. Back to drawing. See that? I just I just hit the button and like undid that. Can't live without it. Okay, so let's save that. Make sure I save, because not saving sucks. I'm gonna flatten this all these layers out. Copy that. Copy, Copy that. that. Now I'm gonna place her in the comic strip. Whoa, where is she? Oh my god! No big deal. She's over here. And there. So that's another gypsy. Now I'm going to show you what I do for this next one over here. I notice like most of her is exactly the same except for the eyes. I have already this gypsy. I'll copy that, copy copy that. folder. Now I'm going to paste in there her pencils and try and line them up. That's pretty good. I'm going to make it a little bit transparent so I can see. Uh, the only thing that's changing here is her eyes. Well, first I'm going to lock the pencil and I'm going to select all of her ink lines that are her eyes. Oh. And I'm going to cut those out. And instead I'm going to draw in the new eyes. Done. I just drew the fourth gypsy. Cheating! Yeah, that's how I do it. Oh wait, she's not done. She's not done. Er, er. Now we have Gypsy. Can you see that shadow? Shadow. Oh, I'm not. I'm still not done. I gotta shade her eyes. Done. Finally done. And there, like in a couple of minutes, I've got a whole other character. So now let's get Jack.
save your work. Save? Where is he? Oh, he's right here. So we got three panels drawn. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'm weary. I could, I could use a break, but I'm going to keep going. For you, let's go to the fourth panel. That's Jack. Jack. Uh, let's copy this. Copy that. And boom. Boom. All four panels drawn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh it's so beautiful. Am I looking at it? I don't know if I'm looking at it or not because I can't. See. That's in all done in post. <clears throat> but it's not really done yet. What I have left to do is a couple things. One is the background. I can't just sit there with white. I can't just leave it white. I haven't used purple in a while for a background. <coughs> Basically, I just swish it in. I just kind of brush it in like it's, you know, no big deal. And sometimes I will make it a little transparent to kind of dull it down so that the, like, the colors of the characters are more vibrant in the background. All right, and take that same background, I'm gonna copy it, and drop it in the next panel. Again, saving time, you know what I'm saying? Like, why draw it again? Because you're supposed to be an artist, John. Yeah. Okay, how do you like that? Backgrounds. You know, sometimes I will also just kind of see what other colors might have looked like. Like, for example, I can go over here, Say tonal correction, hue, saturation, luminosity, or brightness, luminosity, and just kind of slide this around. I like using green a lot, but I use it too much. Green and blue always look good. Ah. Yeah, I think I'm liking that one actually. I'd like to point out one thing before I move on. Have you noticed that these look like puppets? You don't see their legs. There's just like there's like two puppets talking to each other. You know, I think some car some cartoons do that a lot as well. Like, you know, either they just don't show the bottoms or or they'll have a table that the characters are sitting at. I've noticed that. Part of the reason is just you want to frame it, you know, so that they're bigger and you can't have them their entire bodies on. So it ends up looking kind of like a little puppet show, uh, like it's the Muppets or something, but. Don't do. All right, what's left is adding the tails to the word balloons. And that's it. Now what's left is the finishing touch, where basically I add the info. Alright, so I've got a file, and it's got the name Skitter, it's got the title, it's got the copyright thing, it's got the, the dot .com, and it's got my signature image. Because I don't sign these. I wrote my signature once, and I use that over and over. Say copy, 
paste. Boom. Mm. All the data is there. Except, oh, that's pretty bad. Um, notice that the skitter and the word balloon are fighting for dominance. It's kind of obvious that it's going to be skitter. I'm going to say the skitter logo comes second, and I'm going to put it behind that word balloon. Right there. You know what skitter, sometimes this happens, and I don't care. Alright, so the name of the thing is going to be, this was called Smarter. And now, it's freaking done. You just watched me draw a comic strip, a skitter comic strip. And I hope you liked it. I hope you had fun. I would invite you to subscribe, turn on your alerts. You can check out more Skitter Comic strips at skittercomic.com. You can check it out on Twitter. You can check it out on Facebook. You can check it out on Instagram. And for sure, check out the Skitter Patreon, where you can get all kinds of extra uh, stuff. Only costs a buck a month. Come on. So anyway, I haven't figured out a sign-off yet. So for now, I'll just say bye. Thanks for watching. Please work. Please work. It worked. Oh yeah. It worked. Yeah, baby. Oh, it worked. It recorded the video. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about.